Here we are again. This is Rolf from Tesla Owners US and my favorite Tesla technician. <laughs> so uh, it was inevitable. So the rear struts need to be replaced as well. And I got some messages again on my suspension system. Uh, we, um, I'm not sure if it that if it this is, but uh, we want to re re exchange the rear struts as well and then we see what it is but uh, we hope that is the, the case and this time we're doing the rear struts for the suspension system of a model s hear the birds and see the sun side by side our fears are done all the good times just begun We know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right With you and I, the future Okay, first thing is Lift the car up And put it secure on stances And then Take the wheels off. For the rear, the inliners here, they have to be removed. Oh, some of them are already not there anymore. You see those little pins there, or clips. Okay, removing all of the clips all around the wheel well. And here also on the knees. And here we go. This gets out. Put it on the side. So let's do that one side first and then I look at the it's probably 21 millimeter and then on the top is 50 millimeter and here's the air supply which we had to remove as well from there. Okay then use air pressure instead then we get a loop. So currently there's too much pressure on it and we might have to pull the safety valve so that all of the air gets out of the strut. That was the sound. Now we can lift it. Yes. Okay, the connector has to come off, the parking brake connector. That was in the way and now we got the bolt off. And then there's another set of screws, 15 millimeter. We have to get from... That was the thing, we have to push that to the side. Here is that sucker, all oily. Not bad for 155,000 miles. Nope. Need to be loosened as well, but we have new ones. That's good. Ah, you need that plate. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, then we take that valve off there. Yeah, because there is pressure on it. Right. So, because we need to get the sucker back in. Yes. Now we can press it in. 
now we're gonna insert it back in. There are holes or bolts there. Then you push pressure it over there, you see that? And then push it back in. So now we're gonna attach it to the top. Those three bolts coming out there to the plate. And then we should be fine with that. And this one is already in there. The other one. Short hat bolt. Yeah. Versus so what a bolt normally would look like. Yeah. Okay. That's the special. Yep. Gives it clearance between, because uh, it goes in right here. Yeah. Gives it clearance to the uh, camera link. Mm -hmm. So this bolt needs to go in from the front towards the back. Yeah. The bolt is in. The hat comes on it. Okay, let's hammer it on. Lock it from one side. And there's that special ring there. Clean it. So while we are there, we're looking at the lower links and the upper links and uh, all of the parts. If that's still good or good enough, uh, we have to do a replacement. The brakes are still good after 150,000 miles. At one time when I changed, uh, when I powder coated the uh, calibers, I changed the brake pads, but that's still good. Oh, let's put the wheel well in, the screws and the clips. Okay, we are done with this side. Now on the other side as well, and you always should replace both of them. Otherwise you get it uneven. And the wheel could be put on, but we put that on later. So now we're doing this side, hopefully faster in the sun. And same thing, same procedure as already showed. We just will only show you the final result at the end. Okay, and, and then put the wheels on again and 129 foot-pounds, 175 newton meter. Yeah, metric system is a little bit better. It's yes. also most common for all manu uh, car manufacturers, right? Uh, yeah, it's also uh, I forget what the exact number is, but I think the Imperial system is only used in like two countries worldwide. Yeah. Everyone else uses metric. Okay. I just don't like that the smallest unit of measurement in the Imperial system is the inch. Because <laughs> after that you have half an inch and quarter inch and eighth of an inch and sixteenth of an inch. And, and so but it's all still it's uh, a fraction of an inch. Uh, on top of 12 inches in a foot, three feet in a yard. Yeah. I don't know how many yards are in a mile, but there's 5,280 feet, and I don't know who came up with that number. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, it doesn't make any sense. Okay, 175 newton meter. Here we go. And over cross. Alright, work is done and uh, struts are in and now it's about testing and we will do the testing afterwards and we see uh, there is a, a possibility that you might have to pump up the uh, air tank, right, mm -hmm. air tank, so not to put too much pressure on the pump, yep. so because the pump then stops, so you might want to do the service valve and push up the uh, power for that. And uh, yeah, uh, our work is done and now we need to find out if it's all adjusting. And that's all. Thank you for helping yep. to put the struts in and we are good to go. Thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and talk to you next time. Bye-bye.